image. So you have one by one, it's like almost like three waves of of coal. Yeah, okay. Now just training a couple hits once again. Oh, the Venom is such a beautiful thing. You can just time walk that damage. She's actually okay to trade hits with Nana, who's brought really low. But Jabs, he wants fly solo. Doesn't have a dive just yet. If he can find the hook, and he actually will get it with Nana. First blood, very, very tight. And Jabs gonna try and deny himself. He will get it in the end. Very close call. Boogie is just playing around in boombacks. So you can tell the arm now. He can't lane. He's just. But that's about it. Like, ooh, hook shot gonna connect and Armel. He's hooked. But nah, okay, oh, okay. Fall side, fall side. Boombacks going down to Mushy. And Boogie actually will claim that with the nice little snowball kill. Well, you know, because of the Albert Venom, he's okay to just keep think he's okay to sacrifice it, just as long as he gets the kill. Hook. Ooh, with the silence, perfect timing. Great synergy from Jabs. That's a lot of trust for Nuva from the back. They put the ward down, they know that where Bok is. They don't have to dismember, and of course, with the Grave Chill right now onto Bok, they have the hook. Chain stuns are there, and with the hook shot, Bok should be dead, but he has many of heals. Not even using the chain from the Brawl Strikes committee to be there, but he almost killed his own teammate. They have hook in five. He still won't die. The ninja attendants to turn around. They get the kill. And Boombags with the Sandstorm damage, he has a burrow in a bit, but not enough mana. Once again, Chain starts coming out, Boombags dive away. J.O., he's looking for a Chrono, he has one, he will use it now into Jabs. Bok is there as well, Sunray impetus damage, they have more than enough, and Jabs is dead. But that's the first Chrono down. Face boots, Bok wants to chase after Nana. Let's see where Bok and his friends decide to go, they have the big troll summoner, the ensnare. They will go, first strike onto the Visage with the Sunray burning him down. Looks like it should be enough damage, looking for the hook shot. Actually, no, juking it away with the Icarus dive and Bok. He does have an enchant in 12 seconds, but I think he should be able to run down Jabs. Getting the impetus damage out. Ice Ice did get the return kill, which he will finally get. It's not easy for him to you know, isolate particular targets. Keep it the boombacks, for example. Remember, gonna be used. You need to use Dallin. Where's the hook shot? Keep it up as well. They found boombacks. Oh, missing the hook, but it's okay. They have enough. Of course, with the nuke, soul assumption, down he goes. J.O. has a chrono off cooldown. But a chase, but okay, they used the chrono, they found one which will be the anti -mate. That's a big kill, but he's gonna blink out using the coil and the supernova as well. They're gonna right click this down, and okay, so they do get two kills. They wanna get Bok looking for the hook, but Bok sidesteps. Has the phase boots, no shrine, however. Crazy tanky. You have the ensnare, but what little do they know, they're about to get flanked. Here comes Jabs in, onto Bok, silence as well, and the hook, he's dead, soul assumption, bar strike from Boombacks to try and save his teammate, but what he didn't realize that there were four heroes here, and with the hook, Boombacks is dead, double kill for Ice Ice Ice. Because it's alchemist things, you usually want to be crazy level to farm by now, you want to have the there with advantage. But that's you here, okay, Chrono over the bottom lane. And the epicenter on to two with the Sunray as well. One down, Nana comes in with the turn, that's a nice three-man coil. The supernova all the way at the back, this is going to be a beautiful supernova. And it's going to get the full proc off, so Bok gets a double. And looks like Nana's also dead for the count. Yes, and a triple kill for Bok Bok Bok. Like I said, this is a great enchantress game for him, which he needs to have, and he is having it. So now you see, with a 1200 gold swing, they actually he could reach them. Good ward here as well. Gonna make sure that there's no one you know waiting there inside. And Bok, he's gonna get that hurricane pike up ASAP. She might even get a solo kill here into Armel. But the Sunray heal, Armel might think about Armel toggling his way through this. Mushi. Um, oh, that's close. He gets the double with the battle fury. Good about yourself right there. Really kind of panicked, like trying to juke around the trees and the mana void and all this game. Alright, looks like J.O., he's going down. Alchemist farm because they know that Jo is behind. I mean, yeah, this is where you kind of understand. That. Okay, hold on, hold that thought, Sunray. Chris dive forward. Okay, hold on, fly tall. He's just messed up. Fuck, he's gonna trade all those hits in, but boom makes it die. Okay, maybe not messed up. They get the full stun off. And Jabs is also dead. Bok with another double kill. He's in a mega kill streak. Seven. Jabs waiting for a sad start to come to the bottom lane. Mushi's gonna get the Korean snipe in the end. Oh, in the end, it doesn't even matter. 
But over in the middle lane, Ice 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 is gonna die for his shenanigans. And RML looking big and angry. Boots of Travel also here. Let the global farming beat. They invade the enemy jungle. Void has a chrono. Open the burst strike. It will go for Ninja Boogie with the time dilation. Boogie is dead. Chain Frost bouncing around. J.O. Oh, ooh, flies solo. But on the bright side, okay, they have the coil. Oh no, it's okay. Nana says, no, 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 not today. Silence. I don't want to go for jabs, dismember. No fall up, he's just here to buy time. Because over the bottom lane, Mushi is already sieging the tier 3 tower. Everyone else is out of their own jungle. They know that Clutch Gamers went off in that direction. Oh, the hook. They found Fly Solo. What did they do? Looking for the Chrono, it only finds one. Oh, he walks into the Chrono, but it's good. All will finish him off, and nonetheless, Fly Solo goes down. Jabs is dead. Burst Strike catching Ninja Boogie. Nana looking for the Coil, perhaps, but Ninja Boogie's dead. It's going to be a two-for-one trade. Supports for support. Max in a bit of trouble. Go straight to the pit. They have no Chrono to contest Aegis with in the first place. Alright, trying to go in for the steal. Using the supernova. Mushi will get the Aegis. He needs to kill it off right now. Trying to kill off the egg. Can he kill the egg though? No, it's gonna get the full proc and it looks like down goes Ice Ice Ice. So two heroes down, two for one trade. Boombacks. Backline will get picked off by Nana, popping the Aegis off, and Clutch Gamers are actually winning this fight. They already killed off the intermediate off once. Hook, catching Bok, fighting under the shrine, it'll blow him up with the mana void, won't even need to. Mushi still fighting onto our mouth. The sun is gonna try and keep him alive, but okay, hold on. Using that mana void, oh dear Mushi, you need to get out. But the familiars, Ice 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 will still kill a fly solo. It's gonna be a 3 for 3 trade. This is familiars chasing after Jo. they're not done just yet. Antimage still on the hunt, Nana is there as well. Nope, kind of missing up the silence, but it's okay. Jo is dead for the count and it's going to be a 4 for 4 trade between both teams. Very. Visage is on the way as well, but he's quite far behind with the pipe looking for the chrono. Oh dear, now they get the silence up with the dismember and down goes Jo. Ikaraz dive in, but now they use the coil to fly solo, he may be forced to pop the egg here. Jabs, he will step up in, and actually it looks like he will stun himself, Armel. They will burn down Jabs, epicenter at the back, trying to kill the Visage. Caught in a very, very awkward position. Alright, so two for one. They will get the familiars as well. The eggs is on all of these heroes and clutch game aside. It's going to be a big problem, but Nana, he's already found Bok. The coil, kicking him down, Sunray heal is gonna be there. Gets up for the hook. Alright, looks like they will take out the Enchanters. Barrel Strike catching all and the Familiars as well. It goes that forward. Armel comes in with the stun. Popping the Supernova. Nice dodge. Actually, Jabs goes down first. Minute. Okay, Mushi. He's gonna man fight here against Armel. What's gonna happen? Mushi here. Is he actually gonna die? Nope. He's gonna blink out. Familiars just chain stunning them up. Oh, the ball. Here comes that. The nice Chrono with the Chain Frost. Doing a lot of boombacks. He's actually gonna die. Ninja Boogie will end up going down. Nana. <laughs> he's gonna bring one down with him, anyways. Down he goes, looking for the mana void! Mushi! Destroying J.O. and it's gonna be a 4 for 3 trade. Fly Solo will get chipped down as well, so it's gonna be a full team up with 3 for 5 trade. And Mushi, well, not much. One of their heroes missing to control that at that faceless void. Oh, with the immediate abyssal. Woo. They fried that chicken. Mushi with the double damage, he's happy. He backs. That's an epicenter available with the double damage. They're gonna try here, but actually, you know, popping the BKB immediately the Nizers. Woo, big chrono. Someone now who the Zen? Zen King, but it's okay. Mushi looking for the mana void. Now trying to channel the stun. Armel, actually, the mana void didn't do that much. He's still healing up. Jail. Oh, right, Jail's gonna be the first target down. Going to Mushi with the bash in the abyssal. Mushi on a wicked six streak. Bok and he changed the number with the familiars. Mushi, he can go back in if he wants to. He doesn't want to. He's low on the HP. He's low on the mana. And over at the back, they are going to try and kill Armel. Who's going to omelet toggle his way through this. And J.O., he's not done. Did he buy back for this? Yep, he did buy back. If he dies here again, it's going to be a dieback. And he's going to be caught by the dismember. Dieback from J.O. J.L.O. Okay, never mind. He's back down. Popping the acid spray. Oh, Mushi. He's jumped the Armel. Big bro, now the supernova is there as well. It's gonna get the full channel duration off. But Armel is dead. Can he armor toggle this No, the mana void blows him up. Bok has no more mana for the impetus. And looks like he's gonna get bashed to death here with the chain frost. One onto him. Alright, so they do. Ooh, ice and jabs are already dead. But I'm not sure they kill Mushi here. He's gonna blink out, run away, back to his shrine. 
Awkward engagements everywhere. And the Aegis is still not gone to anyone. Hutch is gonna buy back. They don't wanna give this up. Alright. Phoenix is dead, maybe? Bushy on a godlike streak on the anti mage. And Boombags and Bok will have to back out. And the Aegis will finally be conceded to Mineski. Alright, so now with Radiant's the creeper if they're anti mage going Sunset straight for the tier 3 tower. Mushi, he's going. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Fortification is Radiant's forced out. They have the chrono if they need to use it, but I think they will give this away. It have no buyback on the alchemist. He's blinked out already, so the shrines will be open, and they can just go back and take those. Takes to still force a comeback. This is Giant's not impossible. Many anyways, both sides using the scans. They know where they are going with the coil immediately onto Fly Solo. Mushi looking to him. who's he gonna jump first? Popping the supernova immediately though. Oh the egg should be dead and Fly Solo is gone. But the corner in the back line. Oh dear. Jayo, what are you doing? He's dead. Fly Solo will be forced to buy back. Armel gonna get blown up and he's gone as well. Epicenter comes in, but for what? Turn down for what? And okay, three heroes dead. And it looks like our Fly Solo is about to have a dieback. As it four heroes down, they're gonna chase after Fly Solo. He's gonna stun in, but no instant first hit bash from Mushi. And Fly Solo, well. That was a good run. Instant buyback from Boombax as he pushes out the bottom wave. No bad down the toilet. They're gonna take the tier 3 tower. Middle lane of Rax to follow. 40 seconds without the Alchemist. This is Mega. Radiance Middle Barracks are under attack. Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. Yep, so for 40 seconds, they have more than enough time to take out the Mega Creeps. And they are holding on for dear life. They are not giving up. Radiance Top Barracks are under attack. Radiance Top Barracks has fallen. All right, so see where they decide to go. 4,500 gold and nice size. What's his next item? I mean, hell, he, he still has cheese. I don't even think he will get to that stage, but they've caught the alchemist. Armel. And with the alchemist death, also goes the hopes of clutch gamers of staying in this game. They will try for miracle plays. Oh, baby, Korean Jesus, try to keep them into this game. They have a chrono, but can they kill Mushi twice? I don't think so. He's gonna get silenced up there. Okay, the Aegis is now gone, but J.O. is just nuked down immediately, and the GG will be called. And looks like Bok, he's also dead. Well played to Mineski. 